go with this trying to reconnect. Okay, it's saying I'm live. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everyone doing on this beautiful morning? I pray all is well. I pray that your morning's gotten off to an amazing start. I hope the kids is is acting accordingly. I hope your coffee started out as it should. Um, I just pray all is well. Pray all is well. Thank God for allowing me to see another beautiful, cozy morning. Somebody didn't make it this morning, but I thank God that he uh, seen fit to allow me another, another day, another opportunity, another chance. I'm just grateful on this morning. I don't have a sad story. Trust me, I got some that I can give, but <laughs> I tell you, it's just best to to be grateful because things could always be worse. And not only can things be worse, things can literally change in a in a in a in a second. You know, so I'm just grateful on this morning. But if you didn't read the title, the title of this is um your confidence in man leads to great disappointment your confidence in man leads to great disappointment how many of us put so often put a lot of confidence in man we stand on what man say. We stand on man's status. We stand on man's position. We stand on man's ability. We stand on man's power. And the moment, in that moment, that they show you that they are human, just as yourself, that they fall short, that they can make a mistake, it's hard to receive. The scripture I'm going to read is Psalms 118 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put your confidence in man. And confidence, the definition of confidence is full trust. We should never put our full trust in something or someone that can fail us at any moment, at any time, at any second. God will never fail us, but man can. Why? Because man is human. Man is going to fall short. Man is going to disappoint. I've been in that position where I was greatly disappointed. I was greatly hurt because I had so much confidence and individuals. I felt like this would never happen. This That would never happen. This would never be said. This would never be done. And all those things that I feared, I had to walk through it. And it wasn't easy, but it was necessary. And that is the moment that I learned that I cannot, I will not, I shall not put my confidence, my complete confidence in man. Should we have a certain level of confidence in each other? Absolutely. Because my God, if you can't trust somebody, I mean, you know, so you got to have a certain level of confidence, but never put your full confidence in man because man will fail. <laughs> man will fall short. Man will disappoint. I mean, the things that I had to walk through just in the last couple of years, I don't even have to go that far back. I was devastated. And let me put a springboard in there. We got to also understand that, yes, man will fail us, but we also have to understand that we fail them as well. I'm sure there's people that had confidence in me that I failed, that I fell short, whether it was deliberately or not. Falling short is just falling short. 
Not meeting a need is just not meeting the need. It doesn't matter why you wasn't able to meet it. People don't look at that. People don't judge that. People don't consider that. They just look at the fact that you didn't meet the need. And oftentimes, we put so much confidence on people. And the moment that they can't come through, we hold a grudge. We separate ourselves. We isolate ourselves. We push them away. Not realizing that what you think that person should have or should be able to do or should be able to give, they may not have the capacity to do it, to give it, to be it. That's just like me going up asking somebody for $200. And if they tell me, look, all I got is a hundred, then I get offended. I get upset. I get bitter. Then I get on the phone and I tell somebody about it because of where they work. I feel like they should have it. If they say they don't have but a hundred dollars, take the hundred dollars and be grateful. <laughs> you know, it's nothing to go run around and say, you know, I asked in so-and-so for two hundred dollars. They only, you know, they said they only had a hundred dollars. Maybe that's all they had. So sometime our expectation of each other and the position. Sometimes we put so much on people that we burden people down and people can't always live up to our expectation of whatever our title is, whether it's mother, whether it's father, whether it's gra uh, grandma, excuse me, whether it's grandpa, whatever. And it's a burden when you're trying to live up to an expectation that you know that you cannot. I've been in that, I've been in that position where I tried to be Wonder Woman, Superwoman. I didn't want it to, I didn't want to let anyone down. I wanted to always be there. I wanted to always show up. I wanted to always be available. I want them, you know, I wanted them to know that I always, I will always have your back. But I fell short. I didn't meet all the need. I didn't meet, I failed the expectation. But God had to deal with me. And he had to show me that you had too much confidence. You expected too much and vice versa. We can only be who God created us to be. And I thank God that now I've learned, I'm learning to just love people where they are. Because if I expect them to be what I feel like they should be, I'm going to always be disappointed and vice versa. But if you can just learn to love people where they are, flaws and all, because we all have them. That's peaceful. You're going to find more peace in just loving someone where they at. The Bible said to love and to be peaceful with all men. But when we go outside of his word, that's where the disappointment comes in at. That's where the frustration comes in at. That's where the bitterness comes in at. That's where the grudge comes in at. So now I'm learning and God is teaching me to just love people for who they are and love people uh, where they at. Whether I think they should be here and they there, or they there and I think they should be here. Just love people where they at. Because we all fall short. I may not fall the way you fall, but somewhere I fell. I didn't stay there. So we just got to learn to uh, love people where they are. The Lord was dealing with me um, on that um this morning and i'm sure i'm not the only one that have tried to meet everyone's expectation wanted to live up to uh being mama wanted to live up to being daughter wanted to live up to being uh the granddaughter wanted you know want to live up to being the grandma you know you, you know it just is what it is and you're not gonna always be able to carry it out 110 percent but like I said, God had to show me some things these last couple of years 
And now I learned, I'm learning to do things differently. I'm learning to expect things differently. Not the way that I was expecting it. Because it's not going to look like that. And if you, and if you um, don't learn to just love people where they at, you're going to live a miserable life. And when you put people on a pedestal, and when you have so much confidence in people, and they let you down, you can't hardly move forward because you're so disappointed and you beat yourself down because you've allowed yourself to have too much confidence in flesh. That person is flesh just like you. That person will fail just like you. I don't care how people try to want you to think that they that they ain't falling short and they ain't gotten into nothing and they ain't done nothing. Honey, if God was to uh, 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 crack the sky and he was to... <laughs> expose our closet, you know, we'll be ashamed. We all done done some things that we don't want nobody to know that we've done. We've done something that only you and God know what you've done, what you've said. And I thank God for that. I don't know about nobody else, but I thank God for that. Because I didn't always make the right decision. I didn't always do the right thing. I'm not going to sit there and tell you I was a horrible person but definitely a human being. So with that being said, I'm going to hop off. I just wanted to share that little bit with you that uh, balance your confidence. Balance your confidence. Don't put, your, oh, don't put all your confidence in man because man is subject to fail. I don't care how good that husband is. I don't care how good that wife is. I don't care how good those children are. I don't, I don't care about that. People are subject to fail. People are subject to disappoint. People are subject to let down. And if you have too much confidence in them and you think that they never will, trust me, that test is going to come. That test is going to come. So with that being said, I pray that this, uh, just this little word, um, that it encouraged someone that it um that it teach I got to watch my surroundings um that it 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 teaches it teaches you to uh search your heart and and look at yourself and ask yourself this question do I have too much confidence in this one or that one because it's not a healthy thing I didn't seen it happen <laughs> it's not a healthy thing and and sometimes if the wrong person let you down it's a struggle to get back up. It's a struggle to let go. It's a struggle to move forward. God is saying, do this, but you stuck. You stuck because someone let you down. So we got to be careful that we don't have so much confidence. We got more confidence in man. The confidence that we have in man is the confidence that we have in God, but we got it twisted. People got more confidence in man than they do in God. So with that being said, again, I just wanted to share this little word with someone that's struggling with trying to be someone's all in all, trying to be someone's everything, feeling disappointed. Um, if you can't live up to everyone's expectation, you'll never be able to live up to every, everyone's expectation. Learn to just love and to be peaceful with all men. And that's all God requires us to do. Until next time, I pray everyone have an amazing day. Don't allow no negativity. Don't you be negative. And just however way God allows you to enjoy your day. And then speak life. Speak life. Whatever you're going through, speak life. I've had to learn that. <laughs> I've had to learn to change uh, the things that I spoke over my life. I had the, I was wondering why I kept seeing rain, why I kept seeing storms, why I kept uh, just uh, feeling just, it was just things that I was speaking. It was things that I was planting. It was seeds that I was watering. That's what it was. But I've learned to change my language. And I thank God. I thank God. I thank God for those that hopped on. Uh, Pastor Michael Nance, I thank God for you. And Takasha Penny, I thank God for you as well. I pray that you both have an amazing day. And everyone that comes on after, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I, th I, I'm just grateful on this morning. I'm just grateful 
on this morning. So many things that I could talk about. But when you just think of the goodness, when you just think of his goodness, when you just think of his unconditional love, mm, my Lord, when you just think of the things that he delivered you from, that he brought you through, mm, whew, my God, my God, I got to get off of here. But with that being said, um, I pray you have an amazing day until next time. Be blessed.